their positions ahead of Tuesday when the matter comes up uh, for debate at the Senate. The tough stances will not all go well with the handshake or for the handshake as well as the Building Bridges Initiative whose report is being eagerly awaited. And as our senior reporter Patrick Amimo tells us, NC Party leader Musalia Mudavadi is calling for speedy resolution of the issue. Unceremoniously adjourned a Senate special sitting that had been convened to debate and either adopt or reject the new formula to share revenue that has sparked controversy and strong opposition from the political divide. Na wakati ya kisema ya kwamba, ameahirisha mgu mmojo kuchini, hauko kwenye kiti. Jambo mbalo halijia tendeka. Na nikama mbaya alikuwa na kimbia mbio, anaogopa matokeo. Senate Majority Whip Irungo Kangata says Tuesday is the D-Day. On four occasions, members have postponed taking a vote to reach consensus and agreed to disagree. If the Senate listens to us, they will pass it. If they refuse, that's okay. But we shall ensure we shall bite the bullet on Tuesday. The Constitution mandates the Commission on Revenue Allocation to review the method of sharing revenue every five years due to the changing dynamics at both the national and county level. The third formula is proving a hard sell. The only way to get things moving is to use the existing formula and then have this other arrangement uh, uh, put on the table for further dialogue by the various stakeholders. Let's use the previous formula so that counties can continue receiving cash from the national government as we build consensus on the current new revenue sharing formula that has created this impasse. Let's not subject county government to crisis at this critical moment when we need county government to fight the COVID-19 situation in this country. Should the new formula be adopted, 20 counties stand to lose 19 billion shillings. At least six senators from counties that stand to gain have decided to stand in solidarity out of concern that the formula does not promote equity. It is an issue that ANC leader Musalia Mudabadi is wading through. If for any reason that uh, proposal will be defeated, then those of us who support His Excellency, we shall know there's no need for BBI. Because to us, the reason why we are supporting BBI as most Kenya leaders is because that BBI stands for one man, one shilling. There should not be grandstanding at this point in time. It's not about grandstanding and it's not about arrangements that are not recognized in law. In the new formula, counties in the arid and semi-arid parts in northern Kenya stand to lose 8.4 billion shillings in total. Counties in coast region, 5.1 billion shillings and counties in Lower Eastern stand to lose over half a billion shillings. Alternatively, counties in central Kenya stand to gain 4.1 billion shillings. North Rift counties, excluding Turkana, will gain 3.8 billion shillings. Western Kenya counties, 2.9 billion shillings. And counties in Luo Nyanza, 1.6 billion shillings. This formula would also uh, injure a county like Vihiga. Because as much as we are very densely populated, we don't have a huge landmass. The idea of framing the debate as if we are assisting Mount Kenya is neither here nor there. And therefore, if we don't pass this formula, then we shall reconsider our stand in BBI. Jubilee and ODM leadership is expected to hold crisis talks over the cash stalemate Monday. Patrick Amimo, KTA News. That story by senior reporter Patrick Amimo there, forming the basis of our conversation at this hour. Let me introduce our, introduce our guests in studio, Majority Whip Senator Irungu Kangata. Thank you for joining us here in studio. We'll also be speaking to Narok Senator Ledama Olekina, who will 